In your standard statistics class, you're going to talk about a lot of topics that fall under this idea of statistical inference. This is stuff like sampling, hypothesis tests, confidence intervals, p-value, standard errors, t-test, statistical significance, the normal distribution, priors and posteriors, etc., 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 etc. In these modules, we're basically going to completely ignore all of this stuff. Okay? The reason we have to worry about this is that what we want to do is compute some number in the population, like the average treatment effect, for every single person. But in practice, we don't observe every single person. So we just can't compute that number. So what we're going to do instead is compute it for the people we do observe, and then hope that we're not too far off from the true number that's out there if we observed everybody else. Okay? So what statistical inference is about is about computing statistics, okay, using the data we have to learn about the data that we don't have, but we feasibly could have gotten. Okay? So we want to know about the average treatment effect. That's the average for everybody. We may not observe everybody, so we're going to compute the average for just the people we do observe and hope that it's close to the true average for everybody. Okay? But we could have feasibly gone out and gathered more data. Okay? That's what statistics is about. And all of these topics are about quantifying how close we are to the truth if we were to get more data. Okay? So in principle, if we had a very, very large amount of data, none of this is important. You just throw it all away. Now, causal inference, the topic of these modules, is about something a little different. It's about how can we use the data we have to learn about something which is literally impossible to get data on, that is, counterfactuals. Once somebody is treated, we see that they're treated, we see what their outcome is, we will never, ever, ever see what their outcome is when they're not treated. That's data that's impossible to get. So in causal inference, no matter how much data you have, there's always potentially going to be a problem about learning what we want to learn. That's, again, the fundamental problem of causal inference. So that's the main difference between causal inference and statistical inference. Statistical inference problems are going to go away as you get more and more data. Causal inference problems, not necessarily. Now, causal inference is often called identification analysis because the goal of it is to say, when we have some data, what can we learn from the data? What can we identify from the data? So the average treatment effect is, it's just a number out there. Well, with a particular data set, a particular way of gathering data, will we be able to learn that, uh, the average treatment effect? Can we identify it? That's what causal analysis will answer. Okay, so the techniques we'll study later on are often called identification strategies because there are going to be ways for showing that you can actually learn numbers like this, like the average treatment effect, from real data. So in practice, however, we're usually going to have not an enormous amount of data. So usually we will have to worry about stuff like this, statistical inference. So we're usually going to use first do causal analysis to see whether we can actually identify something like the average treatment effect from the data. Can we actually learn it? Is this data good enough for that? Second, we're not going to have a huge amount of data, so we're going to have to do some statistical inference to estimate the average treatment effect. And then finally, we're going to say, well, we don't have all the data we could possibly have gotten, so our estimate is not going to be the true average treatment effect. It's going to be a little off. So how do we quantify the uncertainty and how far away we are? So those are going to be the tools that statistical inference uses. But in these modules, we're going to focus on that very first step. If you had a lot of data, would you even be able to learn something like the average treatment effect? That's the goal of causal inference.